well, you got to eat mm -hmm. chocolate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anytime you want it. <laughs> it was a very good job. I think it was a great first job because the training is so detail oriented and um, easy to pick up and they're so used to having younger employees and they're really encouraging with that. I remember how bad I wanted the job. I actually had to get out of school early to come in for my job interview. And I think I was, uh, I was either a freshman or a sophomore. So that was kind of cool. I was like, ooh, I'm, I'm gonna be getting a really big fancy job. So That's that was great. cool. Julius always bought lunch for us on Sundays and he would either make lunch or run down here to the triple X and buy lunch for us. And one of my fun memories is um, he would send all of us sales girls together to go have lunch together. And he would wait on all the customers by himself. And sometimes there would be a whole storefront of customers who were typically repeat customers, so they knew that the sales girls were somewhere back there and Julius would just wait on everyone in the front, take his time, and sometimes these people would be a little bit irritated or miffed and he'd kind of just poke about his business, take his time serving his customers. <laughs> Most people who know me know I'm very passionate about bombs, and um, my husband and I were married here in the chapel, right behind me, and I remember Within my first couple of weeks of orientation here, we had a tour of the grounds, and the minute I saw that chapel, we opened the door and I looked in, the minute I saw that chapel, I said, I wanna get married here someday. And sure enough, 20 years later, we got married in the chapel. It's a very special place to me and my family. Julius loved animals, and uh, he rode in the cavalry in, in World War I. And so I always uh, brought pictures of my horse and would tell him a lot about my horse when we'd be working together. And so one summer when I was off, I rode my horse from down Hobart and into Issaquah and over here for him to meet her. And it was, it was really special because, because he got to see her face to face and, and, and he was really up for it. Came out, better carrots, and I thought, this is really great. I'm at my workplace with my horse today. And I think, you know, Julius's hope and his idea and vision for being part of the community is, you know, it's still here today. And this, it's so very much like it was, even back when Julius was waiting on customers with us behind the counter. And whenever I tell anyone, even now in the city that I go to college at, um, about Bohm's Candies, if they know anything about Issaquah, it's probably Bohm's, and that's really special. Julius had a, a real way, though, of locating folks that, that worked together well. It was very interesting. Later going into HR, I looked back and thought, Julius did that without the tools that we use today. We used to have little get-togethers with the girls. We'd have slumber parties. We were a really close-knit bunch. And I do everything I can to bring guests here, young people, old people, in-between people, so that Bohm's stays in the public because it is a special place. So I think it's really, all these years later, 60 plus years later, it's really inspiring to know that Bohm's is still here and thriving and is such a, a fixture in the community, um, a source of, of pride here for sure. And I'm so honored to be a part of it.